This is Paul with Ryobi Press Parts. Today we're going to show you how to replace the ink fountain drive clutch. So when your ink fountain on a 3302 Ryobi MRH model doesn't turn any longer under the uh, automatic setting here, chances are there's a clutch that goes bad. It may still work fine here. This has a different clutch, a separate clutch in it, but the internal clutch on the drive could be bad. So we're going to use three different Allen wrenches here. We got a two and a half millimeter for here, a four millimeter for here and here, and a five millimeter for there. And then, so those three, and then a flathead screwdriver to pop that off, and that's all we're really going to need. Oh, and a pair of snap ring pliers, good snap ring pliers. Okay, so this is the adjustment part of this. When you remove this, make sure this uh, bar here is back about as far as you can get it. It may not go all the way back, but about as far as you can get it. I'm going to listen to these two two and a half millimeter Allens here. And there's a four millimeter here. Get those two guys out of there. And these up here sometimes are pretty tight. I've already had these out. So you may need an L wrench in there, an L Allen wrench to loosen them with. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to take this block. I'm going to keep that in there. We're going to br bring this block back slide it out and there's some washers in there, a couple of spring washers. They're dished and the dishes want to cup each other. So just make sure those stay there. I'm going to take a screwdriver and snap this little snap ring off. And this should slide out this way. Once that clears, you should be able to pull this out, this piece here. A little oiler, you should be putting oil in there. And then, um, I've already pulled the clip off there. We're just going to pull this off here, kind of square. Just got to be nice and square to be pulling it off there. There's a bushing back here. Don't lose that bushing. It goes on there. <coughs> you got a pair of snap ring pliers. So I'm going to squeeze that. And I'm going to pull out on the hub at the same time a little bit. Okay, there's a snap ring. And this clutch will just come off here. But you can see what it does. It grips going one way, and it doesn't go on the other. So when this link between these is ratcheting back and forth, that's what drives the roller. Well, if the clutch goes bad inside here, there's bearings that are oblong shaped. They're not round. And when you turn it one direction, they turn sideways and grab, and they just finally wear down. Or worst case scenario, there will be a groove right in the shaft. There's a groove in the shaft. This won't fix it. Give us a call. We'll hook you up. So you can purchase just the clutch from us. Comes in a neat little bag. Here's just the clutch. That means you got to push this one out and push this one in if you have the means to do that. If you don't, you can buy this whole thing from us. Then you just take a 10 millimeter nut. You do have to use this off your old ones. You get the cast iron piece and the clutch as well. So assuming we replace that, we're just gonna put this back together. Don't forget the flat washer. And 
the snap ring. Make sure it's on there good. And we're gonna put this this thing back on. I guess I need to put that bushing on like this. Oh, I think I'm in through the back here, I guess. It's got to be perfectly square to get right in there. is going on. So just keep moving along here. So now we're going to put this back in here. I should just slide on in there. Bring it back to here. Just kind of wiggle it through there. This pin, I didn't say in the beginning, this pin should be at about the nine o'clock area or 10 o'clock area. And you do that, you move that by turning the hand wheel. So I move that, I wanna be somewhere in this area. If this pin is like anywhere over here, you won't be able to get that out properly. So just have that at the nine o'clock area when you begin to save the havoc. Okay, we're going to put this clip back on, like so, and then this comes back in. Make sure those washers are there, those dished washers. Like so, and I'll put the four millimeter in first to draw that section back. Actually, I need to turn this a little bit here. I don't want that tight right there when I put this back together. I want to have it so it's a little bit, a little gap in it. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna lock these down. You can see the back get pulled forward. You're gonna wanna tighten these with an L wrench. This won't get them tight enough, so get an L wrench and snug them down. Then I'm gonna come back here and put this in. Ouch. <laughs> Same thing, I wanna make sure those are pretty snug. Put a little bit of grease on there, maybe, a little oil on there. Put this dial back on, be very gentle when you put it on. Make sure when the sweep is at zero, this is at zero, you just adjust this when the press is running. There you go. Replace that clutch. You can get it from Ryobi Press Parts. 1-800-901-3304.